Guys, we begin Unit 9, Trigonometry, with sections 9.1 and 9.2. We basically have three parts to these notes because there are three very kind of distinct things that we can do with trigonometry, at least uh, an introduction to trig. Uh, the first of which, part one being just learning about the definitions of what these trig functions are and what they mean. And our three basic trig functions are sine, cosine, and tangent. And you're going to learn about those today and the definitions of them and then the type of questions we ask you to kind of test your knowledge of using the definitions of these trig functions. So uh, we start with those definitions. Now sine of angle A, now we're thinking generally speaking here, sine of an angle is the ratio of the opposite leg from that angle over the hypotenuse. So when we're defining these trig functions, really we're thinking of a ratio or a fraction. Ratios and fractions are kind of synonymous. Okay, and generally speaking, sine of some angle is the ratio of the opposite leg over the hypotenuse. Now traditionally we'd have the lengths of those, but since we're doing kind of generally speaking here, we're just going to talk about them in, in generality. So, angle A. Here is angle A. I'm going to put my pen here. Now, a right triangle, and we'll always be talking about right triangles when we use sine, cosine, and tangent, and we'll talk about that in a second, uh, is made up of two parts, the two legs and the hypotenuse. Now, the hypotenuse is always the side across from the right angle. It's probably the one that you want to identify first. From angle A, the leg opposite of angle A, well, we'd come over here to find that one. That would be considered the opposite leg. In this case, it's segment BC. The hypotenuse is segment AB. If we had their actual lengths, we would write the numbers on top, the length of this leg, the length of the hypotenuse, and we would have kind of our answer. Okay, Cosine of angle A is, or cosine of any angle, is the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. In this case, segment AC over AB. Now, if you're, in, you're paying attention in English class, you know the word adjacent means next to. So, the leg right next to angle A, or touching angle A, would be segment AC here. Okay? Tangent of an angle, the tangent trig function is the ratio of the opposite leg over the hypotenuse sorry, over the adjacent leg. So for an angle A, the opposite leg would be BC, the adjacent leg AC. All right. An acronym we use to remember this. You will need to know these ratios. All right. Unit 9 is all about trigonometry, and, and, and we use the acronym SOCATOA. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So, ka, toa. I like my students to actually write the acronym if they're going to do it. Well, we may as well write them with kind of the fractions. They are ratios or fractions. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So, ka, toa. When can we use? We can use for right triangles only. We will never use the right angle. As you notice, we were working with angle A here. That was not the right angle. We also could have done the same thing using angle B as an example. Those would be one of the two acute or non-right angles in a right triangle. That's the only angles that we'll, we'll use with sine and cosine and tangent. When can't we use? acute or obtuse triangles. Anything that is non-right. We have other uh, math that we would teach you to work with acute or obtuse triangles. Uh, they're called the law of sines and law of cosines and you'll either see that later in this unit or in uh, a future course. Now the first type of question we're going to ask you in this unit is very simply a test of your knowledge of these ratios of Sokotoa. It says find the ratio of the following trig functions given this triangle. Well, here's our right angle. It's a right triangle, so we should be thinking Sokotoa. 
Okay, we're just asking you if you know your ratios. Uh, we abbreviate sin, S-I-N, and these are the abbreviations, but we still say sine. We don't say sin. So this is sine of angle B, cosine of angle B, tangent of angle B. Now from Sokotoa, sine is the opposite leg over the hypotenuse. So let's put our pen here at angle B. Here are the two legs. Here's the hypotenuse. Opposite from angle B would be down here. So opposite over hypotenuse would be 12 over 13, and very simply, that's the answer to this question. Cosine of angle B, that would be adjacent over hypotenuse. That's the ka in Sokotoa. From angle B, this leg here is the one right next to it. That would be considered the adjacent. So we have 5 over 13. And lastly, tangent, the toa part of Sokotoa. Opposite over adjacent, we have 12 over 5. Very simple test of your knowledge of the ratios. Now, um, sometimes when we get so deep into this unit and do all this other fancy stuff that we're going to do with Sokotoa and sine and cosine and tangent, um, this question, some of the students overthink it and don't realize what they're asking you for. So we're just asking you to find the ratio. 12 over 13, 5 over 13, 12 over 5. Let's go to the next page here and do a second example. And from this example, we're going to see something interesting. Um, quickly, we'll get through A through F. So we're asking you actually for sine, cosine, and tangent from both of the acute angles of this right triangle, but same question as example one. Sine of angle T. Here's angle T. We've got opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of angle T. We have the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. That's 3 over 5. Tangent of T. That would be opposite over adjacent, 4 over 3. And then once you pause this video, try D, E, and F, and then play the video, see how you did. Sine of angle U. Here's U. We've got opposite is 3, hypotenuse 5. Cosine of angle U. Adjacent is 4, hypotenuse 5. Tangent from angle U, we've got opposite over adjacent, we've got 3 over 4. Now the interesting thing I think that comes from this is the fact that the answers for A and E, sine of angle T and cosine of the other angle, and B and D, cosine of angle T and sine of the other angle, are the same. Hopefully you notice that. A and E are both 4 over 5, B and D are both 3 over 5. And if you want... Maybe pause the video and try to think to yourself of why that is. Using your ratios, check, checking out the triangle and seeing what was asked. And then you can play it and see uh, how you did. So the why behind this, well let's check it out. A and E, we're asking for sine of T. Sine of T. From T, this is the opposite and the hypotenuse here. And then from angle U, from angle U, that same side would be the adjacent, but the hypotenuse still remains the same. I've used different colors here to, to signify that. So the fact that sine of t is the opposite over the hypotenuse, and cosine of u is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, well, as you can see, these two sides, the opposite from one of the angles, and the adjacent from the other angle happen to be the same leg of the triangle. And we know the hypotenuse will never change. So what we've learned is that, so the opposite from one acute angle is the adjacent from the other acute angle. All right. So what we've learned is that sine of one of the acute angles is equal to cosine of the other acute angle in a right triangle. Now more importantly, the actual degree measures are something that we can consider. And the same is true for cosine of t and sine of u being 3 over 5. From t, the adjacent is 3. From u, the opposite is also 3. It's the same segment. Okay. Now, What's most important is that since this is a right angle, we know what angle U and angle T would have to add up to. They'd have to add up to 90. 180 minus 90 leaves 90 degrees for the other two angles of a right triangle. 
Okay, so what we can conclude, and something that's kind of next level trigonometry thinking here, is that if you take the sine of any angle, many times in trig we denote, we use the, uh, the letter, the Greek letter theta as an angle, that will always be equal to cosine of 90 minus theta. It would be that angle's complement. How do we know that? We just proved it right here. Okay, Call this theta. Well, then T would have to be 90 minus theta because there's 90 degrees left for these. And you saw that sine of T and cosine of U, cosine of T, sine of U were the same. And then obviously this would be true as well. So questions like, hey, true or false? Sine of 53 degrees equals cosine of 37 degrees. That would be true. Sine of an angle equals cosine of 90 minus that angle. 37 is 90 minus 53. Again, some next level thinking, but it fits in well with this example because you can kind of see the link between sine of this angle and cosine of the other one. They would always be the same. All right, last example, testing kind of our knowledge of the ratios. It says draw a triangle ABC with measure of angle C 90 degrees. I think we can do that. Here's my right triangle. There's C. doesn't really matter where you put A and B. So I've done that. Use your triangle to find the missing ratios. We're asked to find cosine of A and tangent of A. We're given some extra information here. We're told that sine of angle A is 5 over 13. So Katoa tells us that sine is the ratio of the opposite over the hypotenuse, which means I can fill in some information about this triangle. From angle A, the opposite would be 5, the hypotenuse would be 13. We would need this missing side length to figure out cosine and tangent, because it would have to do with that side length. Anybody know how we would do that? We have two of the three sides of a right triangle. We would use the Pythagorean theorem. This happens to be a Pythagorean triple. It happens to be a 5-12-13 triangle. You could do the math in your calculator if needed. <clears throat> this would allow us to find the cosine value of A and the tangent value of A. So we're going to put our pen here at angle A. Here's angle A. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so cosine of angle A, 12 over 13. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. 5 over 12. Why don't you pause the video and take your shot here at B, and then you can check your answers. So cosine of angle B, that would be adjacent over hypotenuse. From angle B, the adjacent is right here. The hypotenuse right here, that's 3. We use the Pythagorean theorem. To get this side length, and it happens to be the square root of 5. Let's keep it as a square root. Sine of B, that's opposite over hypotenuse. So, that's the so of Sokotoa. There's the opposite from B. We already have the hypotenuse. We get root 5 over 3. Tangent of B, that would be opposite over adjacent. We get root 5 over 2. Hopefully you nailed it. If you don't, if you have any questions about this set of notes, bring it to our office hours.